Here's a short video highlighting one of the uses for the color sensor. Make sure that you have downloaded the newest VIs. You can go search for High Technic Color Sensor. Follow the instructions to install it in LabVIEW. It comes with a great little sample program, as you can see here, to read colors on your brick. It gives you a color code or even breaks down the colors into their red, green, and blue values. For this program, the color code is sufficient. Blue is 3, red is 8. I'm just going to copy from the sample program their use of the color sensor. I'm going to put it in a while loop so that I keep checking as I drive forward. For the loop, I need to tell my motors to drive forward. Next, I want to check that the color coming from the sensor is either an 8 for red or 3 for blue. I want to use an OR and give that to the stop sign for the while loop. I find that it is always good to label and insert notes into my code so that I can remember what I was thinking if I ever have to go back and change the program. So coming out of this loop, our robot should know which side of the playing field we're on, either on the red or the blue. Now we want to stop our robot from driving forward and use our ultrasonic sensor to decide if we are on the left side of the field or the right side of the field. Here's what my robot looks like. You can see that the ultrasonic is on one side of the robot. So grab a read sensor and we need to change it to read ultrasonic. I'm going to use the ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance from the robot to the closest wall. If it's less than 30 centimeters, then we're right next to the wall and we're on the left side. If it's more than that, then we're on the right side. So I'm putting in a test to see what the distance is. Remember it's in centimeters, not inches or feet. So now we have all the information we need. We have the two colors or which side we're on. If you put this together, that means there can be four things that happen using the fundamental counting principle or a tree diagram. We need to take the information about left or right side or red or blue and put that together so that we can feed it to a case statement. So I'm going to take this information, turn it into a string, and these strings will be given to a case statement. So first I change each boolean or true-false to a 0 or a 1, and then I'm going to change them to strings and then put them together. So the string 1,1 one, one is for left and red, 1,0 is left and blue, 0,1 zero, is right and red, and 0,0 zero, zero is right and blue. Now I can give that to a case statement, and I need to change each case to match a corresponding string. Then all I need to do is put the code for each one of these situations in the case statement, and I'll be ready to go. I've already created a program that does this, so depending on which situation it is, I give certain instructions so that the robot will drive to the center of the field. First I drive straight, then I turn depending on which side, and I did this for each one of the situations. So no matter where I put it on the field, I can drive to the center of the field.